World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Let us prepare ourselves to give. When we give in the presence of God, the Lord blesses us. So giving is a service. Also when you give the tithe, it's a service. When you give the special offering, it's a service. So why is a service? It's because after you have received from God, you give thanks to God by what you have received. So giving is a service because it's when you are saying to God, thank you. It's when you are saying, Lord, you have blessed me and I'm giving you from what you have blessed me. Praise the Lord. So if in your life, paying the tithe, you feel really is a problem. I think that problem must be resolved by you when you are allowing Jesus Christ to resolve it. It's when you are speaking with the Lord straight that Lord help me break all the bondages which are making me not to pay the tithe. And after you have prayed, you must commit yourself. Giving is a service. We are honoring God. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, honor the Lord with your wealth. Honor the Lord with your riches, with what you have. Honor him. We are bringing the service. When we give, lift up your hands. Can you start making prayer? The prayer of honoring the Lord with what you have. When you are saying, Lord, today I'm bringing the offerings, the donations, the pledge, the tithe I'm bringing all this to you Lord Jesus help me multiply all the things which I have for me to have more and I will support your work I will give I will pay the tithe. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Continue to pray and cover your offerings, your donations. Cover them with the fire of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's our time to give now. Also, you who are not having anything today, commit yourself and make a vow that when you be living here on earth, you will give. In the kingdom of Jesus, you will pay the tithe in the kingdom of Jesus. If I can say, how many who want to excel in the business? I will see many hands. How many who want to have jobs? I will see many hands. How many who want to receive fat salaries? I will see many hands. But how many who are saying we want to support the work of Jesus? Only a few hands. Why? Because the devil is using this weapon. 
in order to block you. Jesus Christ says when you give, you are doing that for yourself. You are not doing the favor to God, no. Praise the Lord. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. How many who are saying from today we want to pay the whole tithe in our centers? Those who are saying we want to pay the whole tithe in the house of the Lord. We were fairly struggling, but we are saying from today, we want that wall to be broken. If you have given already, come to the front for prayer. Come. Those who are saying, Pastor, we want to give the tithe. We don't want to please darkness. We want to support the work of the Lord Jesus. Because we will keep on saying that hey, we are saving the mighty God. Whereas the blessings are locked. And Jesus Christ says you have the keys. The key for your blessings is in giving. When you give, you are unlocking your blessings. If you feel that really another mind is trying to reason how, say, hey, 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 I don't want to hear that. I'm saying I'm committing myself. Tithe is the work of every Christian. Whether you are employed or you are self-employed or you are receiving children grant or you are receiving senior citizen grant or you are selling something, learn to pay the tithe. You are unlocking your blessings. Tell your neighbor and say, by paying the tithe, I'm unlocking my blessings. And God will protect my crops, my fields, and he will protect also my money, my work, my business, my bank account, and all my things will be protected by this key which I have today. Amen. Praise the Lord. The book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says bring. It's not saying, think about it. It's not saying, if it's possible. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse of the Lord. The reason God wants to bless us, he says, see if I will not open the flood gates of heaven. He is not opening those flood gates of heaven for himself, for us, for you. And again, this God will prevent, will protect all what you have received. The security wall will be built only when you give in the house of the Lord. Things in your lives are going to change today. But do not forget God. Pray. Let us give with all our hearts. The Lord will bless us.
All who want to be the partners. If you are not partnering with this ministry, let me tell you that you are left behind. It's your time to get into the grace. If you are not a partner, you quickly stand up if you want to be a partner. You come to the front and make a vow with the Lord. You come to the front. What is to partner is when you are supporting this work. Also when in your comfort zone you choose the amount which you want to support this ministry monthly. We must reach the world and to reach the world we need finance. We can't reach the world not having finance. We need finance. When you see a soul of somebody being saved, let me tell you that it's very expensive. Why? Because it needs commitment first for those who are going out and reach the souls. Number two, it needs finance. Even when we are in this province, we cannot say we are going to preach the gospel of Jesus. Let's say in valley, and we say we will walk. It's really impossible. So, but you and me, when we are together, we can make the gospel of Jesus to reach the world. Come. Come. Listen what the Holy Spirit is telling you in your heart. Come and commit yourself and say, I'm coming with my heart. I understand that when somebody is born again, I'm blessed in the kingdom of God. I'm rich in the kingdom of God. If I can make somebody to be saved, the Lord will protect what my hands have worked. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. That now is. make a prayer. Say, Lord, I'm committing myself today with my money which I'm going to receive. Now is my time to put in my hands for more souls to be saved, for more deliverances to be received in the whole world. I say, Lord, Protect my business, my work, in your name, Jesus. Amen. You will see what the Lord Jesus will do. I'm telling you. He will open more grace and more grace in your life every day. Praise the Lord. Oh, Fano, no chase. Restoration service for world peace by Jesus Christ. Pastor Samuel, with few words, I greet you all in the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm here before you this day. 
in the name of Jesus. But I have few things to encourage you to give. We are talking about the partnership forms. And we encourage all of you to partner with the ministry. You know, today, these are the, all the forms from the members of the center in Atrechville. You could see them, there are many. After we introduce them to them about this partnership with the ministry, they were so much touched. We told them about the television station of the ministry. How it is winning souls. How it is bringing deliverance. How it is bringing restoration to the people who are seated at home. But we are saying partnership with the minister. This ministry is running many ministries and as pastor already indicated to you here say that these all activities need our support in Atrechville when the members were bringing these forms you see we have realized that the spirits does want these forms as the members were bringing the forms the spirits were reversing you know and remember she was an entrepreneur she's running a small business she wants her small business to partner with Jesus the spirits were reversing and we burn them by the fire of the Holy Spirit and they ran away so we encourage you that if you want to do something with your money don't waste any time grab the partnership form and partnership with the Lord Jesus Christ this ministry is doing great things when you watch the WRS television you hear many, many exposures for free. You grow spiritually. And that our television station need more money. But when we are many, it's possible. Praise the Lord. And you know why the spirit doesn't know that? And they don't want you to partnership with this ministry because they know that breakthroughs will flood in your life. They know that your business will start booming up. Promotions will start coming up. You will hear the testimonies. You will hear the testimonies. The testimony is coming here. You will, you will hear what happened. She said through partnering only. Yes. So some of you, you just doesn't want to partner. You don't know why. But today, partnership with the ministry. So I encourage all of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need that. If you are fellowshipping here in Johannesburg, I want you again to commit yourself in the paying of this auditorium. Do you know that when we are many, we can do it? Because if we get the people who are working and also those who are just receiving small income if they contribute something, I'm telling you, the word of God says, if I will not open the floodgates of a heaven for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Okay. I think there are testimonies. First of all, I want to greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. And my testimony goes like this. In 2004, I used to consult the traditional healers. And I used to believe in everything that they used to tell us with my husband and the deceivers. And to the extent that I end up losing everything in my life. Because each and every cent that I receive, I Yes, we were paying them. 
This is like they were sending us immediately when we get something. They will, they will say that there is this. We have had something. Uh, please buy a goat or a cow. What were you paying for? They will just call us and say that they see something. Who were calling? Which doctors or what? Which doctors? Ah. Who were calling? Which doctors or what? Which doctors? Everybody say, is that love? No. Yeah. And then, they will be told to buy a lot of things, whether it's goat or cow. And they meat or whatever they, is a goat they bought. They will only eat few meat. The rest of the meat will go with that person. And uh, we end up losing everything. My husband lost a job. And, and we lost the house. And the car. It was very painful. And the car. It was very painful. And they were not there to protect us. And you know, what I've seen, I just told my husband that, you see, I don't think these people, uh, they are good for our life because see now we have lost everything. Why can't they just pick it up that it, we are going to lose the house because they say they can see everything that <laughs> is in the table. And Raphael Zarkuzura Mkukuni. We end up staying in a shack. After losing everything, the house, the car, and my husband's job. Darenga Dikoda, Pastor Irene. I bought a decoder of Daulares. A pill dish stadium, no invite Wangamungu. When I was attending a service at Pill Dish after I invited by somebody. I start watching of Daulares every day. And in 2013. In 2018, I went to Midlands. Pastor Baba Midlands. I partnership. I partnership with Daulares. That was the day I received my deliverance. And this one a deliverance. Pastor Baba kofunza nanga peace restoration. And whoever that has lost their things, but declare our judo we are jote. Arali unarutendo. That day, Pastor was talking about peace and restoration, and that whatever you have lost will be restored. And I believe I had faith. Yes, after the partner and abo, Pastor Bamu did carry one prayer request, and then I write, dear God. After partnering with the ministry, we were asked to complete the prayer request forms, and I did, and I wrote, dear God. I said, please bless me financially. And I want to reach my goal. After that, Nando Fandu Komanga Rauri, Yori Ichiri February, Ambo the Funari Trench Mushumon. After writing that prayer request in February, we were told that they are going to retreat. And I was one of them. I was in the list of those who are going to be retrenched. And Nando Fandu Komanga and how? Why is it not that you retrain you and go in the long lorry? Capra request, long lorry, please bless me financially, and I want to reach my goal. Marasuno, you go retrain I was surprised and shocked by that announcement that I am in the list. After writing to Jesus to say, I want you, Jesus, to bless me financially. Now, how come I am in the list of those who are going to be retrenched? And uh, the following day, Barry Boyd, I'm mistaken. After that, the following day, they told me that, no, that was a mistake. You are not going to be retrenched. The following day, the children were very a mistake. I was so excited with the first news that I'm no longer in the list of those who are going to be retrenched. But the following day after that news, they gave me another news. That you are back into the list, you are going to be retrenched. Because they said it's last in, first out, and 
Because the strategy and the method they are going to use to retrench people was the one which says, last in, first out. out. <laughs> and I want to reach my goal. In that way, God was also answering me the prayer request that I said to him, bless me financially. I didn't stop following Pastorin. I used to follow her every time wherever she goes. I was eventually retrenched on that date. I was retrenched on that day. Then it was now my time to focus on the goal that I really purpose to focus on. to the goal that I really purpose to achieve. My goal was to go back to school and become a nurse. As you know, the private schools are expensive. The private schools are expensive. I was uh, admitted at Free State in uh, one of the nursing colleges. And this is kind of